What's up guys, it's Dumpster Marcus. We're actually going to pick up some stuff from Facebook. Yes, someone got back to me. All right, just to recap, make sure you watch yesterday's video because it was amazing. Recap what I found. I found two animal trap cages. Perfectly work fine. I opened the one box up and put everything together and it works perfectly. I got these two nice beach chairs. The one's in perfect shape. The one is ripped. So that's aluminum. So I'll uh, scrap that and I'll take this to the beach this year. I got two bikes, all this scrap metal, a Razor scooter, which has a battery in it, uh, air conditioner, which is nice, copper aluminum. And then I got another one of these uh, hoses. I found another one of these before and it worked perfectly. So this one, I would assume works perfectly. And the best thing of all, two, two, five drawer carts. Uh, I don't know what they're called five drawer mechanics carts. I think they're complete. We're gonna put both of them to... Making a video truck. Love you truck drivers. Much love to all truck drivers. If it wasn't for you guys, this world would be screwed. But we're gonna put both of those together today. Hopefully we could get everything functioning properly. I'll oil everything up and uh, see if it works. I got the keys and everything to both of them. Hopefully everything, so we'll see. And I got all this uh, wire and this brass flower pot. Let's make sure this is brass by using my tool. So if you really wanna help support the channel and help me out, I don't really make anything from these, like eight bucks maybe. Uh, there's a magnet on one side, it sits flat on a surface and it's a very small file. Instead of having like the six inch files, so let's see if this is really brass. Yep, brass underneath, magnet doesn't stick. So a full brass flower pot. So that's sweet, that's gonna be a couple bucks. I'm literally three minutes away from the scrapyard that I go to, but the lady said these were tarped and they worked two years ago. She had them tarped underneath her porch that's covered because her daughter moved out and she was gonna take them, but then she moved like three hours away. So she just bought new ones and they're just getting rid of them. The grill, uh, it still has the propane tank in it and I don't feel like trying to take the propane tank off just to scrap that. So we're gonna go home and hopefully sell some of these parts. All right, we're home. The reason I took them home is, yeah, they're a little dusty and dirty. They were outside for two years, but she said she had them covered. And it's a Samsung and a Whirlpool, which are two good brands. So we're gonna plug these in and uh, see if we can get them working. I wonder if the pl my welder plug is the same as this. So I want to make sure everything works. Hot, warm, cold, extra, large, large. Start. Stuff's happening. Pause. That's all turning. So this washer is working. And yeah, I can sell these running but I'll show you right now if I look up this Samsung washer, like how much it goes for, and then how much I could sell just the motherboard for, like it's almost the same price. Time is going to take me to clean this whole thing and test it. I'm gonna have too much time into it. So it's better off just to take all the parts that I wanna sell off and sell those. And then I don't gotta deal with people on Facebook, which is ridiculous. <laughs> So let's take these two things apart and make some money. All right, I took the front off, like it's like this. Uh, this motherboard, the motherboard in the front, that sells for about 45 to 50 bucks. And then this control board that's on top, I had to take it off to find the part number, but that one's selling for 35 bucks. That someone bid that, and then someone sold it just 
sold it, sold it for 65. And the last one sold this whole thing together for 115. So I'm probably just gonna sell it all together like that for 115. So hopefully that sells. And then I'm taking the whole uh, main wiring harness apart and that sells for like 30 some bucks. I got mostly everything cleared that I don't have to take stuff apart. Like there's a battery in there, the air conditioner. I gotta take the copper and brass off there, stuff like that, you know? But the whole trailer's filled decently too. And I got the bed of my truck filled decently. So let's go see how much money we'll make. I weighed 1,220 pounds. Ooh, price is $195 a gross ton. I got $106.21. Can't beat that. So add this to the total right here. And uh, we're doing good, I think. I don't know. Money's money to me, so any little bit counts. So let's go home and put those cabinets together. little pieces of metal, nothing. Still metal. just found those two things it's kind of early it's only like four ish so but this is the only time I'm gonna be down here I'm not going dumpster diving tonight cuz I have to do stuff with Cassie I took that out of the dumpster by myself. And it was filled with stuff. And and when I'm, you're inside the dumpster, the dumpster is up to your chest. It was heavy. First one, oh, I think I need, isn't there like handles? Is there handles? Yeah, they go on this side. I have to see, yeah, here's one. They go on which side? Probably the side where the wheels turn. Okay, I gotta put that on real quick. But, overall, look at that. Look at that. Yeah, there's some dings, some scratches. Like this is totally off, $270. Whew. Now this one, I know there's a dent on the side, but that's probably it. So let's get that one together. Boom, look at them, all done. These drawers open up perfectly. Awesome. So we got them all together. That's $540 worth of tool chests. Can't beat that. Hopefully you guys enjoy this video. Thanks for watching and have a scrap of good night.